Hello, everyone. The clip you're about to hear is from one of our exclusive Patreon episodes, and if you'd like to hear the entire episode, please head over to patreon.com slash horrorqueers and subscribe today. Without further ado, here is your exclusive Patreon clip. I remember the first time I saw it, I was really conflicted as to how I was supposed to feel because, I mean, let's just get it on the table, right? As Mm -hmm. white viewers... There have absolutely been times where I am afraid that I'm going to be mugged in a bad neighborhood. And you have to take that step back and realize, okay, well, that's my privilege. And how am I contributing to this situation? But also, what are the other, you know, sociocultural factors that contribute to why someone might need to rob someone for their livelihood? And it really felt like this film was saying, you know, at the offset, it's scary to be a white person in a black neighborhood. Like it wanted to prey on our societal fears and stereotypes and then subvert them as the film goes on. And I do think it's mostly successful in highlighting that like, yeah, these kids are shit and they are being little shits, but there's also a lot of reasons contributing to why that is. And then we have an alien invasion to bring everyone together. Exactly. Yeah. Like, (laughs) Is it sometimes a little bit too pat that they all just kind of kumbaya and forgive each other by the (laughs) end? Yeah, as you said, it's not really condoning their reactions, but it is saying, you know what, we need to have a little bit more leniency, but also maybe don't be so fucking judgy, Jodie Whittaker. (laughs) I mean, kind of. (laughs) Kind of. Okay, so here's the thing. I feel like none of this would work as well as it does If we didn't have the scene where the girls rip into the guys for being like, wait, you fucking mug this woman at knife point? Like, I really think that that's a good turning point because they are suggesting, okay, you know what? If you need to rob people, like, maybe go after rich people. Maybe don't use knives against women. Maybe don't have, like, five of you against one woman. (laughs) Yeah, um, speaking of characters I wanted to see more of, by the way. Right? Ah, uh, Talia, so good. Ah, Atlas Avenue. A long stretch of road that encompasses everything the city of Kennet Heights has to offer. Neon lights, traffic, crime, the hustle and bustle of everyday life, and the craziest of characters. My office was above it all. My name is James Locke. And I'm a P.I. Hello, Mr. J. How the hell you doing today? Good, Edith. Nearly every year I have a new case. New people to meet, new clues to discover, and new problems to solve. But I do it the old-fashioned way. No technology. Nothing post-1950. Hell, I don't even listen to podcasts, but you should. Atlas Avenue Beat is a spoof of the film noir genre with goofy characters, tons of wordplay, and non-stop raunchy humor. There's also three whole seasons out right now with more on the way. Just search for Atlas Avenue Beat wherever you listen to podcasts or visit us online at bloody.fm. Hello, I'm Shelby Scott, the host of Scare You to Sleep, a podcast where I tell you spooky bedtime stories full of creepy sound effects and music that is soothing yet unsettling to help immerse you into a world of horror. This is a show for those of us who have realized horror can be a strange but relaxing escape from reality. Speaking of escapes, sometimes I lead you through guided nightmares, like a guided meditation, but instead of flowery meadows, I take you on a journey through your own personal nightmare. So come get lost in the terror with me. Listen to Scare You to Sleep wherever you listen to podcasts or find us online at bloody.fm. Sweet screams. <laughs> 